In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a website to your Google Search Console. So this can be useful for tracking performance and to check things like your core web vitals, which is essentially the page speed for your website. So the first thing we need to do is just head over to an internet browser and in the address bar, we need to type in search.google.com forward slash search hyphen console and then hit enter. So that's going to take you over to the official Google Search Console. Now your window may look slightly different to this as I already have some websites added here. So in order to add your new website, click on the drop down arrow in the top left hand side, select add property. And now you'll have two options. You can either add your domain or you can add a URL prefix. Now we're going to select domain as this covers all of the different pages and HTTP protocols on our website. URL prefix is good if you just want to monitor one specific page. But for most of us, we're going to use this domain feature. So what you need to do here is just type in your website URL and press continue. And now what's going to happen is in order to verify our domain name, we need to add this text record to our DNS records. So you don't always need to do this verification. Sometimes it actually lets you do this in the window itself. For example, if you have Cloudflare, then you can actually automatically link your Cloudflare account to this window. But if you can't verify your account automatically, then we'll need to go through these steps here. So all we're going to do is press copy next to this text record. And then you need to open up a new internet tab. Now from here, we're gonna head over to the website where our domain name is being hosted. So I bought my domain from godaddy.com. So that's the website I'm gonna be going to. And from here, you just need to select my products and you need to locate the domain that we're trying to add. So for me, it's going to be this your fix guide over here. So simply click on that. And what we're looking for here is an option to edit the DNS servers. So click on forward domain. Now, like I said, it may look slightly different if you have a different hosting provider for your domain name. So I'm going to click on DNS from the left hand side. And in this drop down arrow, I'm just going to select one of my domains to show you. So your DNS records should look something like this. And this is where we can manage all of our DNS records for our domain. So once you're on this page, click on add new record. For the type, we need to select text. For the name, you just need to type in the at symbol. And then for the value, we're just going to paste in the text that we copied earlier from the Google Search Console. The TTL, you can leave this as half an hour and then press save. So once you've done that, it can take a little time to update. Usually it's instant. So once your DNS records have been updated, then head back over to the Google Search Console and press verify. And now Google's going to check to see whether it can find that text record that we've just added. So like I said, sometimes it may take a little bit longer in order for this to update. But eventually what will happen is once you've verified this, your Google Search Console will appear in this list here like it does for me. And then you'll be able to monitor all of your website's traffic and indexing and things like that. When you first add a website to your Google Search Console, sometimes the data as well can take a couple of days to show up. If you're unable to verify your website in the Google Search Console, it will be because you've entered the records wrong on your domain. So you just need to head back over to your DNS management and then just make sure you've added the correct record. Make sure you have set the type as text. And once you've applied these settings properly, you'll be able to verify your Google search console. And that's it, guys. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.